Hey, peeps, what's up? Um, I'm not even gonna lie. It's been a minute. I think it's been like two months. I don't even know. But there's a lot been going on. I'm still trying to work on getting my laptop fixed, and there's been a lot going on. Work, Makai, situations. However, I did not forget about you guys, and don't fret. I'm still doing the giveaway, guys. I know there's been a lot of people um, commenting in my comment section asking about the giveaway. It is closed now, so make sure you watch this video before you ask me, hey, is the giveaway closed? Now it's closed. Today is the last day. I'm closing it because I'm getting, like, way too many requests. So I'm going to um, close it today, and I'm going to put up a video by the end of this week with us drawing the names of whoever won the epitome. And then I'll get your details, so I'll go ahead and ship it to you guys. Um, I want to say thank you because I have 136 subscribers right now. Like, I went up 36 subscribers in like two months. Yeah, that's not a lot to y'all, but it's a lot to me, and I love every single one of you guys. Okay, I'm telling you, I really do love y'all. Let me prove it. See all that love and affection y'all just got? Because I love y'all. Now, um, this video, what I was originally gonna do is I was gonna give you guys a video on how I got my Fulani braids. I guess I'll just put some pictures at the end of this video. I had a whole nother thing set up for you guys today, but it's like all my files for some reason got corrupted off of, um, for the other video that I was going to give you guys, which is a tutorial for the Fulani braids. I am really upset because I really wanted to do that and it was going to be my first voiceover. So I wanted to see how that went, but the files got corrupted. It's not working. So I can't even post the video. I can't even share it. I can't do nothing. I have to delete like half the video because half the files are corrupted. So it's like, whatever. I was like, forget it. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys this segment that I've been needing to post for a while now and it's finally up. I'm finally gonna post it up today and Yeah, so I know you guys are already gonna know what it is by the title, but don't skip through Watch all the way through because y'all can learn a thing or two. Okay, cuz I know I learned a lot from this person. So Yeah So just stay tuned keep watching giveaway coming soon. All right until next time. Well, not until next time keep watching Say hi to the peeps. Hey peeps! She sucks. Alright guys, for today's segment, what we're going to do is we're going to have a marriage discussion. So you guys can leave your comments and your questions down below and don't forget you can send me questions also in my email. In my email about this topic as well. So, <laughs> when you're trying to record a vlog, but your parents keep thinking. Okay, wait, mom. And if you guys want to know how I achieve this look, this hairstyle. I'm gonna leave the link to that video down in the description below. I believe it is called the Fulani Braids and Beads, whatever you wanna call it. Alicia Key style hairstyle, but the link will be down below. So, like I said, for today's segment, we're gonna be talking about marriage stuff and, you know, basically questions that I have personally. And I know some questions that you guys would like to know when it comes to people who are actually in a committed relationship. Shall we begin? Next question. So, the next question is Is there ever a time where. You Okay, yeah, I remember. Uh, Alright, so the first question. Like, throughout your marriage, have you ever felt like like you didn't want to be married anymore? Like, you didn't want to be with that person? No? Oh, that's all you have to say. <laughs> no. Because when God put two people together... Here we go with the guy. Go ahead. <laughs> when God put two people together, I mean... I don't know. It feels it feels right. That that's don't nobody true. have time to like be searching for nobody. Once that person, once you find that person, it's. But like, even in the times where you're like very angry, you just like, dog, like I don't want to deal with this guy right now, or like. Yeah, there's. You'll never feel as if you 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 don't want that person anymore. No, you're just angry. You just can't stand that person. But you, when that person's for you, you're never gonna be like, okay, well, I don't want to be with him just because you're mad. Like no. I mean, you could take a break, 
Yeah, but I think breaks are not, like... Not break, like separation, oh, like, okay, go. Okay, no, like, take oh, a break for, for a couple I can of cheat. hours. Oh, okay. Go. Go out to eat. Go, sh- go yeah, shopping. Yeah, go, go shopping, you know, shop, you know. Yeah, and then come back. I um, retail therapy. Retail therapy. Retail therapy, that's what I, I did. Love some of that yesterday. Yeah. I did that yesterday. Like, I like going to stores and shopping for yeah. Makai. Like, like, not even know. myself, for Makai. Because it just, you know, makes me smile. Seeing all little baby clothes. Yeah, so. No. Okay, second question. Um, Is there a time where you feel like, okay, you, of course, you want to be with your husband, but ever had thoughts of like being with someone else? Like, I wonder how it would feel like, you know, to be with somebody or doing something with somebody or ever like fantasize about a different person other than your spouse. You wanna be honest? Yeah, like on no. Like even if I see She said you wanna be honest like she's about to give I know, us something I know, I know. juicy. But no, no I don't even if when I see somebody that really looks good, mm-hmm. I don't know why, but I see my husband. I used to be and like I'm that like, dang he's so damn fine. But I see my husband. I used to be like that with my ex, and then his soul rest in peace. But like, Ooh. I was looking for four or five years. He died? Ger- Gerald? He dead to me? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I used to like, I used to be like, you know, every time I see a guy, like, I didn't even notice other men. Like, that's how mesmerized I was by him. Like, I didn't notice other guys. I didn't pay attention to other guys. Like, it was always Joe, Joe, Joe. Until he started acting stupid and stank, and that's when, boom, all of a sudden I was like, oh, oh man, somebody's cute again, you know? But before, like, I wasn't attracted to anybody but him, you know? So, that's how it was. Next question. Can we do this video over? Why? The first time is always better. Because I need makeup. So big and shiny. But next question. Is it true what they say about, like, the first year of marriage? Like, is it... Come on, Sebla. <laughs> she won't leave us alone until we show you guys. This is her when she was younger. See how beautiful she is? Okay, I showed you. Here. Bye bye. Bye. Deuces. Mommy, wap wap no video. Okay, wap get the code. That's good internet. Got it for us. But yeah, so basically, is it true what they say about marriage? Like the first year is the hardest. Like, did you really, did you guys really struggle? Like, the first year of your marriage? Like, did it ever get so difficult or you felt like damn like this might tumble into a divorce? Yeah, I think so. First it's not only the first years, first maybe two years. Two years? Maybe. Not all of that. I think so. So you went hard and strong for two years, like struggling with an individual. Because okay, you know how me and my boys. Mm-hmm. We there's love in it, but we act more like Niggas, two friends. Yeah, two homies. And That's you know, it's to. cool at one point, but sometimes you get annoyed because it's like, damn, you are my you are my husband and I want to be affectionate, more affectionate. Yeah, I, I want, want to, to act love. more lovey dubby towards you and vice versa. So So this you had to like get more comfortable with being lovey dubby towards you. Yeah. Women. Especially you know how what you call it is. It's yeah. like and I'm, I'm not a, I'm an affectionate person, but not in public. So everything yeah, is me like, yeah. So everything is like behind closed doors. But now, the fact that we moved from Miami, less distraction. He shows me more affection. I don't even have to ask him to like rub my feet. You feel me? He does it. He's more does sweet. That, does way that count? sweeter now. Wait, like, but does that really count as affection? But does that count as affection though? Like, cause even yeah. like when. Like, there be days where I'll go to work, because me and Thomas are not affectionate at all. And every day I'll go to work, and I come home, and he would be like, you okay? You had a long day? Let me, like, rub your feet. But, like, you know, jokingly and stuff, but, you know, he still does it. So, with me, I don't see that as something affectionate. I just see that as, okay, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. No, but for me, affection is, like, cuddles, hugs, you know, random kisses, um, spontaneous things. Like, it don't necessarily have to be gifts and presents, but it could just be, like, a simple note. That says I love you when you come home, like things well, like that. Oh yeah, that too. But I feel as though like giving a simple massage, because a guy don't have to do it. They just like okay, whatever. <laughs> giving a simple massage, you know, asking how your day was. It's very important. It is very, very important. You know, it does make a big difference. I remember a point in time where Thomas used to be like, oh, like you don't even. He's like sometimes Alex, when I speak, like I understand you're listening, but you don't even have to like give me advice or say anything big. All I, the only thing I want to hear is that just tell me. 
everything's gonna be okay. Like that's that's all you have to say. Like you don't have to say much. Yeah. And I I felt so bad because I was like I didn't know you wanted my response or you will needed to hear something like that. I think like you should know you need to do better and everything's gonna be okay. Like I didn't think I had to tell him. That. Yeah, you have to. But it made me realize that guys need to. I'm back. My bad. Battery issues. But this is a little bit better than before. But whatever. But yeah, like I didn't know that guys needed the affection as much as women do. Like I thought it was just they needed they needed, they needed more actually because more. you know we're strong mentally. Yes, we are very strong. But Damn, at the same time, babies. it's hard to like show affectionate to a person that isn't returning the affection. You get what I'm saying? Like the other day, I went to Marshalls with Thomas, and I was like, "Oh, let's get matching shirts," you know? He's like, "Dog, you're so gay." And it's like. <laughs> okay, and I was like, let's put them back. He's like, no, no, it's okay, let's get them. But then at the same time, like after that, it's like I didn't even want the Why shirt anymore. It's like I didn't even want the shirt anymore. So it's like, okay, um, you just like messed up my whole vibe. And it could be times I'm like, come here, let me give you a hug. He's like, <laughs> and, you know, and sometimes I'm like that too. Like when he's like, well, give me a hug, and I'm like, uh, uh, chill, you didn't get, you know. <laughs> but even though it's just like how we are. No offense to gay people out there, we have nothing against gay people. I'm like, it's just a figure of speech. It's just a, of the same, like, okay? Before people start attacking me and stuff. But, no. But yeah, so, and it's like, damn, like, it's hard for me to try to keep being affectionate with a person that's not trying to be affectionate. Like, not that they're not trying, but they're uncomfortable with it. Because, believe it or not, like, I'm that person, I can't handle compliments. Like if somebody compliments me, they be like, "Oh, you're I pretty." I be like, "Bro, leave me alone." Or I be like, "Chill." Like I remember one time, Tom was like, "Damn, girl, you look good today." Like I really like how you look. You, you look gorgeous. And I was like, "Girl, I was blushing." And I was like, "Stop. What's wrong with you?" And I walked away. <laughs> like that, he That's looked at me so crazy. Man, he be like, like man, this what? Is why I can't tell you nothing, man. <laughs> I'm like, man, well, <laughs> whatever. I guess like, if you tell it often enough, then I won't feel so awkward. So awkward. exactly about it. Like, yeah. it was like, bro. Me, I guess. It was like, man, it was like, dog. I was like, stop it. Like, you know, and I got mad. And there was people there. Like, I really got angry. I was like, you always doing this. You're embarrassing me. Like, <laughs> I was, I was hot. <laughs> like, really hot. Drama, drama queen. Whatever. But next question. If there's anything that you can go back when it comes to your marriage, anything you can go back on, what would it be? Go back on? Like, like something that maybe an event that occurred or like how you got married or oh, something yes. you could have changed about yourself or about something you felt like y'all didn't have to go through as a couple that could have went different like you could have went back and changed that I would of course I would like change I mean I love my daughter of course uh -huh. but I wish I would have uh, waited not to say waited because I wanted to get married he's sap. Then, mm -hmm. But on how it happened, you know, we got pregnant first and, and then, then had the we had to get, yeah, we had the wedding and stuff. I, I wish that I would have waited to get pregnant, waited in general, got married, and then experienced that type of, you know, relationship. It's a, together? Yeah, because I wanted it to be special, but, you know, things happen. It does. Yeah. Look, I, I mean, got I don't pay. Hey, and like when That's I tell you guys, nobody in the world ever expected me to even lose my virginity before I got married. Everybody was like, I was so disappointed. What? I'm like, oh my gosh, my my little so girl. You can't say stuff like that on the because, camera because there's a lot of people out there who have kids before marriage and they think it's okay. So you might get or, hate comments where they're like, why is it disappointing to have a child before marriage? Not everybody. No, it's not. Disappointed. Everybody know it's not disappointing. I mean, it yeah. is what it is. But everybody know deep inside you would rather wait. Get married first and then have a baby. But if it happened the other way around, it's yeah. like it's not the end of the world. Like yeah. it's hey, not. That's life. You know, I'm still some the people they I'm act like, like you know like, their whole life is over. Like life is over once they have a kid. Like people be like, damn, you had a baby. You know, you're supposed to go to school. You're supposed to have things yeah, going for yourself. And it's like, bro, I can still go to school. Yeah, kids should And have things burning. going for myself. Exactly. Nah, nah. So. I mean, mean it, it makes the process slower, no lie, because you have to, yeah, you don't want to leave your kids, your kid. exactly, you don't want to leave your, keep bothering other people to watch your kids, and no you know, everything is for your kids, well for most people, everything is for your kids, so you want to make sure your kids are good first, and then you're good. Okay. That's why, that's, so that's why, yes, why they say, oh, that I wish I could have went back on too, because I wish I would have had a chance to experience life more, and go off to college and dorm life yeah. and all that extra stuff and travel and do all of that before I actually had Makai but you know life took its toll and 
It is what it is. It happens. I don't regret my kids. I don't think anybody regrets their kid. Well, I ain't gonna lie. In the beginning, I used to regret Makai. I really did. Like, I had yeah. postpartum depression. So, yeah. that's my excuse. But if you ain't got nothing and you regret your kid, you need to get yourself checked out, man. Well, there's, yeah, there's, there's some people out there that's just like, whatever. Click. Oh, it's about to. Five seconds. Who? The memory space. We're gonna have to. Ugh. Whatever, that's all right. Any more questions? Um, uh, no. So we ain't got no more memory, but other than that, I ain't got no more questions either. I can't think of nothing right now. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend so they can 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 tell a friend. So tell a friend. You get it. Tell a friend. Until next time, peeps. Do see.